up everybody? How you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of the new for 2023 Pneumatic Grandpa from Lowe's. Alright guys, so this is awesome. So this is a pneumatic animatron. I'm a little late getting this out. Um, so right now it's probably going into April. It's like January when I'm filming this. So yeah, I'm pretty backlogged in videos. But yeah, I knew I wanted this guy or something like this, um, like a pneumatic, because Lowe's came out with three pneumatics. I don't really plan to get any more from last year. Um, but yeah, this guy was awesome. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the clown. Um, and the woman was kind of cool, but um, I went with this one. So, this guy's pretty cool. He's new in box. I got it secondhand for under retail. So that's pretty cool, but it's new in box. So that's awesome also. Um, I bought an air compressor. Um, I'm still going to do my time lapse thing, but if you guys have any, any questions about how to like set this guy up in terms of air, definitely comment down below because I think I'm going to have trouble with this. We will see though. Um, so let's pop this box open. Oh, and big zip ties. Lord, the heck are these for? So I'm gonna get the head out first because it seems like the most accessible thing. I'm not sure how to get that body out quite yet. Um, it's pretty secure in there. Hmm. It really does look like a grandpa. It looks like a lot of the hair is stuck on this Velcro down here, which I assume is just for the clothes, but definitely gonna have hair getting stuck on that. So we'll go, ah, ah. Yeah, definitely latex. You can feel it in the nose. But it, yeah, definitely a plastic shell underneath it. But he's really cool. He looks really nice. All right, guys, so in here we have the instructions and sandbags and a cotter pin for the head. Um, I might use the instructions when I'm actually like putting the air in, but in terms of setting up, it's literally just connecting the head, so that should be hard. And then right here we have the air hose, which this is gonna connect to his control box. Um, and yeah, this can handle 290 PSI, this hose, but the regulator can only handle 90 PSI, so beware of that. Um, I'm probably going to keep it around 40. Um, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try and use this compressor, so we'll see. I've never really used a air compressor before. Okay, here he comes. Oh. It's pretty heavy, and oh my gosh, yeah, this is definitely steel turn them around yeah this is steel it feels out of any animatronic um, it feels most similar to my 12 foot scarecrow from Lowe's the techie one um, but it's still this is a lot heavier this is a lot heavier duty this is steel not the aluminum stuff that we typically see and all that we have left after this is one more thing we have the 5.9 volt 2 amp adapter which is a waterproof connection which is great so yeah, all right. That's gonna conclude the unboxing portion of this video. Now let's get to the setup. All right guys, I have them all hooked up to air. Let's try it. All right, guys, so that was the pneumatic grandpa from Lowe's. Dad, what did you think? I mean, it, he reminds me of a professional prop. It's uh, scary sounding and looking, and uh, I like him. Yeah, I really like him too. So this guy is, yeah, he's absolutely awesome. Very professional looking. Um, $358 though, what do you think? 
it's uh, I mean, it's a lot for any sort of Halloween pub, but you know, I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, I would definitely, as of right now, I would definitely recommend this over getting something. If you're looking for a pneumatic and animatronic on a budget, yeah. I think this is definitely what you're going to go for instead of some distortion to unlimited animatronic. Mm -hmm. Because those go for at least over a thousand. Like the mutant goes for like, what is it, three thousand five hundred? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this guy at three fifty, pretty good um, in terms of budget pneumatic stuff. Very great quality. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to return this year. Hopefully, I'm sure other companies will make pneumatics too. Like Home Depot is definitely going to jump on this. Um, yeah, I recommend running him around like fifty psi because we had him at forty. He was a little slow first. But he definitely sped up when we put him to 50. And if we, I don't really want to go much higher than that. But yeah, I mean, I think it looks great just at 50. Um, and it says the regulator um, goes up to about 90 psi. So um, you don't want to overrun that thing and make that break. Um, but yeah, this guy's awesome. I will leave a link to the merch. This guy isn't being sold right now. So I won't leave a link in the description to buy him, but he might return. Um, but yeah. Aim high, not low, and never quit. Peace.